SIBO recently launched the S&P 500 Dispersion Index, ticker DSPX Index, along with our partners at S&P Dow Jones. Before I go into the details of the new index, I think it's worthwhile to spend a few minutes to talk about what exactly is dispersion and why should investors care. Dispersion, at its core, is a measure of how much stocks are moving relative to each other. For a fundamental equity investor, dispersion is a measure of potential stock picking alpha. In a high dispersion environment where stocks are moving a lot, there's a wider potential spread between the winners and the losers and more potential alpha to be generated from being a long versus short investor. Conversely, in a low dispersion environment where there's not much differentiation between the stocks, it's actually more attractive to be an index investor receiving average index returns. So what exactly does DSPX tell you about dispersion? The key thing to keep in mind is that the DSPX is designed as a forward-looking indicator of expected future dispersion. Just like the VIX is a measure of how much the S&P is expected to move in the next 30 days, the DSPX is designed to measure how much the stocks within the S&P are expected to move relative to each other in the next 30 days. You can think of VIX as a measure of implied volatility, while DSPX is a measure of implied dispersion. If we look at the historical price performance of DSPX index, there are a few things that stand out. First is that it's traded typically in a pretty tight range between 20 and 26. But as you can see in the chart, there are a few extreme values. For example, DSPX fell to an all-time low of zero in February of 2018 during the Volmageddon episode, right? An episode that was largely concentrated at the index level with very little spillover to single stocks. Conversely, DSPX hit an all-time high of almost 60 during March 2020, the pandemic sell-off, when there was incredible amounts of uncertainty and volatility at the single stock level. Hi, I'm Mandy Zhu. For more volatility insights, please subscribe to my mailing list at the link here.